This homeless man, who couldn't even afford a meal, used all his savings to buy handwritten English cards. The money would have been enough to fill his stomach, but he bought the cards simply because he found a diary. The diary contains a little girl's soliloquy. He read the first entry. The little girl said her mother had passed away, leaving behind only this diary. Let her record her daily life. Mom can see her in heaven. The next page was written in handwritten English. He couldn't understand and asked the people around him for help, but there are beggars all around. The next day, missionaries came to preach. He wanted to ask for their help in reading the diary, but no one paid attention to him. He can only go to the store to buy English cards. When he paid, the little girl next to him felt his odor and was afraid of him. So, he put the coins on the cards and asked someone else to help with the payment. His name was Willie, very poor sleeping in a cardboard box every day. He used to have a sleeping bag, but it was stolen by a little thug on a rainy night. The neighborhood administrator felt sorry for him and lent him a blanket. At night, he read the diary while holding the cards. The little girl said she was afraid of thunder, and Willie was also afraid. Between the lines, loneliness was revealed, which resonated with them a little. At that moment, the sky started rain and wind. Willie hid in the cardboard box. At this moment, he seemed to have a friend. The next day, he sharpened a pencil and wrote a letter on the blank pages of the diary. He wanted to be pen pals with the little girl and tell her about his life. Every day, when the sun came out, he would beg, and when he was hungry, he would dig through the trash. He loved adventures. He found a spot in the city where he could overlook the scenery. Now he slept during the day and stayed awake at night because people would come to steal things at night. After finishing the letter, he folded it into a paper plane and threw it into the distance. Such a life is very regular. One night, not long after, two youths came to the block. They offered $50 as a reward to find a boxer. Let the two beggar fight each other, and whoever wins will have the money. Willie wanted to see what was going on, was suddenly attacked by a man. Despite the fact that the other party is very large, but Willie knocked him out anyway. The youth were excited. Call him a cardboard boxer. Willie looked at the money in his hand. The money was enough for him to have a full meal. And he came to a hotel with the money. He opened a room because he hadn't taken a shower in a long time and the water was full of mud. Because I haven't brushed my teeth for a long time, I brushed too hard and started bleeding. He ate a snack and watched TV. Then he lay on the ground and slept all night because he's not used to sleeping in bed anymore. The next day, penniless, Willie returned to the street he met a disabled person. The man recognized Willie as the beggar of the block. Willie tries to push his wheelchair but is scolded. For the sake of respect for him, Willie asked if people with disabilities could read handwritten English. If I can, I'll help you push your wheelchair. You're reading my diary. The disabled person agreed. It turns out that he is a veteran named Pinky. He lost both legs in the war and was honored by the president upon his return. Life is hard now. He wanted to sell the metal for money, but the boss was only willing to pay $15. I'll give you $15. Fucking not worthless, man. It's my legs right there. Pinky didn't sell. In the evening, Willie finds him something to eat in the trash can, and they become friends. Because of Pinky, Willie also began to integrate into the neighborhood. When asked about his ideals, Willie said he didn't want to die alone. He was so lonely, like the girl in the diary. The girl said that no one in the class had paid attention to her for a long time, and so did Willie. He came across a stray dog. When holding the dog and begging, passersby will give a little more money. He bought a box of canned food for the dog. In the diary, the little girl writes a sentence. There may be people who have just a little bit of a time in your life and when they leave, it's gone. Pinky and the little girl are one of his few friends. Towards the new year, Willie bought the magazine. He cut out the picture of the girl on it and pasted it in his diary. At night, people on the streets say Happy New Year to each other. Willie, on the other hand, sat alone on the rooftop and watched the fireworks in the distance. Willie picks up a piece of cardboard. He wrote on it that the war hero gave it to Pinky. In this way, Pinky will no longer be disliked when he begs.
I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. On this day, the two young men came to the neighborhood again to find someone to box. Willie wanted to make money, so he participated. He knocked the man to the ground with a few punches. The young man sat in the car with a smug expression, suddenly said as he gave Willie money. I know it sounds weird to call you my friend, but I don't know, man. I, I honestly like you, Willie. You know why I think you're loyal? Yeah, but I'm gonna need to count on you. Can I count on you, Willie? Yeah. Yeah. In fact, some people regard him as a friend, and he is very happy. That night, Pinky continued to read Willie's diary. The girl said that no one spoke to her for a week. She mourns her deceased mother at home. The drunken uncle knocked over the candlestick, and a fire broke out in the house. Pinky couldn't read it anymore. He said that once he killed an innocent girl on the battlefield, the enemy captured the girl and used it as a human shield. He had no choice but to shoot, but he felt guilty for years. He didn't feel worthy to be Willie's friend. Looking at the sad Pinky, Willie comforts him. You could be my friend. You had to do it. So you could be here. A few days later, at the boxing match, a man took a frying pan and smashed it at the youth. Willie thinks it's his friend and hits the man. Unexpectedly, a mistake caused a fatality. When the people present saw this, they were so frightened that they ran away. Willie also hid in the box. But the police only came over and asked a few words, and then there was no follow-up. It seems that no one cares whether they live or die at all. After this incident, Willie wrote more and more letters. The presence of the little girl makes Willie feel alive. Passing by the pawn shop, Willie sees Pinky's medal. He redeemed the medal. That night, he sees Pinky sleeping across the street. He tries to put a blanket over him, but when he gets closer, he realizes that Pinky has died. He pushed Pinky to a quiet spot and hung the medal on the door. A few days later, Willie was found by the neighborhood administrator. Tell him to stop fighting black punches with people in the block. Willie, however, said that the youth was his friend. Your friends? They're not your friends, Willie. Yes, they are. Are they sleeping down here with you? They're not sleeping in a goddamn box, are they? They're not your friends. It wasn't until then that Willie came to his senses. It turns out that he has always been a tool for other people's entertainment. After the administrator leaves, Willie begins to bang frantically on the trash can to vent his emotion. Hurting others for money, Willie doesn't feel like he's good at all. Stupid. So stupid. At night, he sat on the rooftop and his heart was barren. He came to the recruiting office and wanted to sign up to be a hewn shield on the battlefield. I didn't expect to be rejected because I was too old. In the evening, the young man brought a group of rich second generations to watch boxing. He said that they themselves were nobles and this group of beggar was their slaves. The people in the neighborhood didn't want to punch anymore when they heard it. So the young man increased the price to 100 per game. At this moment, a thin old man stood up, for he was so hungry. The young man approached Willie and asked him to box. Rejected by Willie, Willie agreed. Go ahead, look at him. Look at that old man right now. You want someone else throwing those punches at him? Hmm? Or you want to throw him? When facing the old man, he didn't throw a punch even knelt on the ground for the convenience of the old man beating him. The youth were dissatisfied, threatened Willie to burn the journal if he doesn't fight back. I'm not gonna hit him. Fine. No! The diary was burned and his hands were burned. In the hospital, Willie muttered to herself in despair. Although the diary was gone, he memorized all the content. He said the contents of the diary. The voice was heard through the microphone into the hallway of the hospital. A girl ran out and quietly looked at Willie. After being discharged from the hospital, Willie sat alone on the side of the road. The neighborhood administrator drove by and threw him another piece of clothing. That night, the administrator stopped the young men's cars. He told them to kill each other or else he would just kill them. The young men fought in fear. <laughs> Willie still goes to the side of the road to beg. On this day, a little girl walked up to Willie. 
It's the little girl in the hospital and the real owner of the diary. The two hugged each other tightly. At this moment, two lonely people finally found a home. Please subscribe to my channel. Share different movies and videos every day.